Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, for those who see my face for the first time, my name is Daniela and those who already know me, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to make this incredibly beautiful bracelet. Uh, it may seem a bit complicated at first glance, but in reality it is very easy to make and this tutorial is also suitable for complete beginners. Uh, at the beginning I will show you how to proceed and then I will tell you some tips and tricks. And if you want to support me, please consider subscribing to my channel, ring the bell and let's dive in! The spiral beadwork consists of a center core of beads, I sometimes call it spine, and on the edges we have loops made of two different uh, kinds of beads. So we need three different kinds of beads a total. For the center part I'm going to use these uh, faceted rondel glass beads. Uh, they have 8 mm in diameter and are 6 mm long. And for the loops I'm going to use Toho treasure seed beads in color silver lined rosaline and gold fire polished uh, 3 mm beads. I like to use fire line to make the spiral stitch because it lays nicely flat and the finished beadwork is kind of stiff. But not so much, it has just the, the right shape. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but I think it's worth investing in it. Specifically, I will use a size of 0.17 mm. When I started with beads I was using a cheap transparent beading string and over time I found that it pays to invest in more professional equipment. My second choice is some beading thread like Nymo or Eslon. It also lays nicely flat over this thread but I think it doesn't hold the shape as well as with the far line, uh, but it's also a good choice. And the last but not least we need some clasp. I will use this magnetic clasp. When I make bracelets I like to use a magnetic clasp better than for example lobster clasp because I can easily fasten the bracelet with only one hand. Uh, but they need to have a strong magnet uh, so that the bracelet does not fall out of your hand. And I will also need some jump rings and pliers. If you are making bracelet it's good if you use as long a piece of beading thread as you are comfortable with so you don't have to add a new thread. Uh, for an um, 18 centimeters long bracelet, it's about 7 inches, got about 3.5 meters of thread, it's about 12 feet. But if you decide to make a necklace, for example, uh, the thread would be too long, so adding new thread is necessary. So I will show you how to do it in this video anyway. So I thread my needle. and pick up first two center beads. Bring them down and leave a tail long enough to weave the thread back into our beadwork. Then we pick up enough beads to create a loop outside the edge of two center beads. I pick up five seed beads. One, two, three, four and five. One three millimeter fire polished bead and five seed beads. Two, three, four, five. Now pass your needle up uh, through the first set of spine beads. Move it to the left and tie it well. Uh, make sure that the loop is not too big or not too small. Uh, the beads should surround the center beads and sit flat uh, while not showing any extra thread. Uh, when you know this rule you can basically use any beads you want and it will always look good. Now we pick up another set of side loop. So we pick up five seed beads. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one three millimeter. Come on. And five seed beads. Two, three, four, five. And pass through the center again. And sit the loop on the other side. From now on, we will pick up only one center bead. 
I bring it down to my beadwork and then we pick up blue beads again five seed beads one two three four five one three millimeter and five seed beads again one two three four five and now we pass only through the top two center beads and push the loop to the left. It's not necessary but I like to push the first loop to the left and then the other loop to the right. I have such a system in it. We make the other loop so we pick up five seed beads one, two, three, four, five, one, three millimeter fire polish bead and five seed beads one, two, three, four, five and again uh, pass only through the top two center beads and push it to the right. You can see that the loops are starting stacking up on top of each other and as you keep stacking them uh, they keep more solid. And we will continue the same way till the end of the bracelet. We pick up one core bead, bring it down, then we pick up five seed beads, two, three, four, five, one, three millimeter and five seed beads, one, two, three, four, five and go up through the last two center beads push it to the left and make another loop as you stitch don't flip your work over uh, stay working on the same side so that each new stitch will hold down the previous stitches Now you can see that I'm running out of my working thread so I need to add a new one. I think in the case of this stitch just weaving the thread uh, in isn't enough like for example in peyote stitch so I like to make some knots. I go back through the side loop Make a knot between the center beads Hide the thread in the beadwork and cut it. Of course you can make more knots if you if you feel that's not enough. I'm not sure if you hear that in the video but my pack is snoring here next to me uh, very loudly so sorry for that. 
He's so cute when he's sleeping next to me. I don't want to put him in another room. Now we cut a piece of new thread. Thread the needle. The other end, okay. We can make a knot somewhere in the center. Pass through the center beads. I'm going to make another knot here. Just to be sure it's safe and secure. And pass through the beads to the end and we can continue the same way and first I cut this tail now we have the land we need for a bracelet and we need to attach a fastening we pick up five seed beads one two, three, four, and five. And we go back through three core beads to make a loop with these five seed beads, like this. There is a small loop here. We can attach a magnetic clasp uh, here using a jump ring later. But first you can notice that the first and the very last set of loops here like to flip around so I've got a tip for you how to fix it. We already passed the needle through the last three center beads and we go back through the side loop. It doesn't matter if we go through the uh, left or the right. So I choose right and I go back through the loop until we get to the level uh, of the last fire polished bead. So I go through two more seed beads. And we go up through this fire polished bead. So we secure the last two loops together like this. And we continue through the loop of seed beads, circle it to secure, and we repeat it to the other side. So we go uh, down through the last three center beads. And then we go up through the side loop. until we get to the level of the last fire polished bead. Now we go through the last fire polished bead up here and then through the rest of the loop. And then we can weave the thread in and make some knots. Uh, I like to weave it in through the center beads like this. I make a knot.
and go through a few more beads. And to be sure I make another knot. The last one. And cut the thread. And we do exactly the same on the other side. We pick up five seed beads, three, four, and five. Go back and make a loop like this. I'll go through last three beads. Now I go through the side loop up until I get to the level of the last fire polished bead. And then I go up here through that fire polished bead. And go through the loop of five seed beads. And back through the center beads. And we make the other loop the same way. And finally we do thread in. Now we attach a fastening, so we take a jump ring and open it with pliers. Put a jump ring into our bead loop, add a magnetic clasp and close the jump ring. Do the same on the other side. And voila, the bracelet is finished. I think that this flat spiral stitch is amazing. It's very easy, very suitable for beginners. Uh, you don't have to do only bracelets, but necklaces looks also very nice because this type of beadwork curves nicely. I like to make these bracelets as gifts, last minute gifts for my friends, because it looks very good and you may not think so, uh, but the bracelet is made very, very quickly. Uh, I can make it in less than 20 minutes, which I think is an absolutely perfect time. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching to the end. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorials and see you next time. Bye!